Radio Network. We are live. Thank you for joining us. It is the Sunday edition, 23rd day of August 2009. President Barack Obama has the lowest approval rating of any president in U.S. history eight months into his administration. We're now eight months and two days in. He has the lowest ever, and he's dropping faster and faster and faster and faster. He has a full a full four points under what Jimmy Carter, the previous title holder, had. Uh, this according to Rasmussen. Similar numbers out of Gallup, uh, similar numbers out of Zogby. This guy is a political nightmare. He is a political implosion. Because the hype was just messianic. He was our Lord. He was our Savior. He was the one. He was like Jesus, the media said. He was going to save us. He was the world's president. It just went on and on. We cover it in my film, The Obama Deception. But here is the danger. He may be politically wounded, but he's extremely dangerous because the people controlling him know that when his agenda became public, his approval ratings would implode. That's what, what, a week after he was elected, uh, Vice President Biden, Vice President-elect was uh, out on the West Coast, and he was talking to their big, you know, half a million dollar donors, their biggest donors, in a closed-door meeting, but somebody recorded it on their iPhone. And uh, we played the clip many times. And he said, look, six, seven, eight months in, he's going to be hated because of our policies. He's going to be hated, but you've got to stick with us. You know, you're the insiders. Don't worry. You're going to get paid off with the taxpayer money. And we're going to have a crisis coming. So they're going to stage a crisis. And it could be a new war, as the Rand Corporation is calling for. It could be this bird flu, as the governors are saying and as congressmen are saying, from Congressman Brown to former Congressman Dick Armey are saying they may use this flu as a pretext to get his agenda through. I mean, when you've got the Governor's Association writing letters saying we don't want martial law to the White House, when you've got major members of Congressman Ron Paul, Congressman Brown, and others, the good news is at least people are getting the game of stage crisis. You got Michael Savage on 400 and something radio stations, third biggest show in the country, coming out every week and saying Obama's going to blow up buildings like Hitler did with the Reichstag to bring in martial law. I mean, this is exciting. Uh, in fact, I want to commend the so-called right wing in this country for finally waking up. The left woke up to Bush staging terror. Congress now has an 11 percent approval rating. It had gone up to about 20, depending on the poll, 19 to 22, depending on the poll. When Obama got elected, there was this fresh wave of uh, euphoria, thinking that, okay, maybe things will change. But people figured out real quick, same scam, just a new slicker version, reading off a teleprompter in a $5,000 suit, Harvard educated, you know, with the, uh, you know, sweet, sweet uh, eyes you can believe. Those are lying eyes, though, ladies and gentlemen, like the Elvis song. Uh, walks like an angel, talks like an angel, but is the devil in disguise. In fact, let's cue that up. I know we've got that. But let's play that sometime during the show today. She walks like an angel, talks like an angel, but I got wise. Oh, she's a devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are a devil in disguise. I'm sorry. I'm really putting shame to Elvis. He just had his, his, uh, anniversary of his death last week. Or was it two weeks ago? I forget. But, uh, I'm addicted to the Elvis channel on Sirius. I'm, I'm sorry. It's a problem I have. Um, so we've got that going on. I want to discuss that with the listeners because don't think the establishment spent over a billion dollars putting him into office. That's right, over a billion bucks. McCain raised over 500 mil. I mean, he got Obama just from Wall Street got four plus. It's almost five times the money that McCain got. I'm not saying vote for McCain. It's like a Don King fight. McCain was taking a dive. What do you think putting that dingbat Palin in there? was uh, meant to do. And 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 the the advisors she's got are definitely on globalist payroll telling her to quit the governorship that that destroyed her political future but that that doesn't matter. The issue that I'm trying to cover here is that 
we we told everybody it was essential to show him as a fraud and a liar because they were building him up as this messianic savior. They hoped the public wouldn't get wise, but their better political brains all said that the people will get wise within a year. Their their uh their top brains now said six to eight months, and they were right. And they said, we need a crisis to resell him. So what is that stage crisis going to be? I want to ask the listeners that. Uh, in other news, here in my stack, they are rehyping the flu. We're going to get into that. And they talk about the Miami Dolphins, a bunch of them have it. Perfect way to hype this is to you know talk about how they have it when this is a mild flu compared to other flus. Again, the question is, why are they hyping it? Well, governors and congressmen are saying, as a pretext, to have the whole government shut down during the fall so Obama can pose as the savior and ram through his anti Gun legislation, his open border legislation, his new Bank of the World legislation, handing over our sovereignty, expanding NAFTA and GATT, the North American Union, SPP, uh, his socialized health care agenda. I want to go over some of the new versions of the bill, subsection by subsection, what's really in there. Uh, but I just wanted to mention this, and if I have time near the end of the show, I'm going to play some of these newscasts and get into it. They are now on New York TV, California TV, Texas television, reporting like it's the end of the world with my Joker, my Obama Joker contest. I mean, they are with pinched faces like they're talking about a meteorite approaching the earth that will kill all life on the planet in six months. I mean, they are talking like, like, like the Black Plague has been released. They're, you know, they're talking like the end of the world has happened with grave faces about how scary it is and how frightening it is and how the public is scared and police are investigating and state attorney generals are looking at it in Florida and no one knows what to do. It's so deadly scary. Uh, these people are putting up posters with Infowars.com uh, under Obama as the Joker and socialist and fascist. People keep saying, why do you have socialist posters? Why do you have fascist posters? Why do you have New World Order posters? Because socialism, fascism, it's all forms of command and control. Different people, it means different things. Okay, uh, there's different definitions to it. I could spend 10 hours on it if you wanted to. The point is, it's collectivism. And the establishment fooled you with false choices of collectivism. Instead of saying, I want to be a libertarian or I want to be somebody who wants freedom, I want a constitutional republic, they confuse everybody with questions of liberal versus conservative, fascist versus socialist. But, but that isn't the issue. Here is the Washington Post. Flicker versus free speech. Where is their courage? Washington Post. There's a Sydney Morning Herald article talking about censorship in America, not allowed to criticize Obama, defending us. Uh, meanwhile, here's the Hayes County Free Press, freedom of hate speech. And it says Hayes County doesn't have laws against posting these Infowars.com Obama Joker posters, but we need one. And the city council is speeding through a law to ban it. And police are investigating. And then I have... Uh, ABC 12, KBMT News, uh, out of uh, Northeast Texas, out of Tyler, Texas. And, and, and they're reporting on this like, well, I'm going to play it later if I have time. First, I want to take your calls and get into Obama's plunging approval ratings. But, but here's the issue. It says, posters depicting President Obama as the Joker started appearing in Tyler, Texas, Friday, August 22nd. <gasps> the altered picture of the president was made by a college student and has since gone worldwide via YouTube. Up to 20 posters were put on trees, signs, and windows. The only message was the image and the website address, Infowars.com. That's the online site. And it goes, Tyler Police took photos and collected some of the posters as evidence. They're now investigating. So, see, here's the issue. In this free country now, they don't care about... 23.7 trillion stolen by foreign banks. It's hyperventilating over us, but, but people see the censorship as they remove the poster everywhere saying it's hate speech, even online. We'll be right back. Stay with us.